Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another children's message. My name is Lauren. I am the Children's and Youth Ministries Director at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church here in Everett, Washington. And I'm so glad that you could join us this morning. Today, our lesson is about when Jesus appears to the disciples after he's resurrected. So get the kids, get a comfy seat, and hang out with me for the next few minutes, and let's talk. I remember going on some really fun camping trips when I was young. One of the best camping activities you can do is sit around the campfire at night and tell ghost stories. As I listened, I told myself over and over, there's no such thing as a ghost, there's no such thing as a ghost. But that didn't keep some of those stories from scaring the daylights out of me. I often found it hard to go to sleep later that night. Now. That might seem like a strange way to begin a Bible lesson, but even in Bible times, some people believed in ghosts and were really afraid of them. Listen to an example from the Bible. And it begins after two men have traveled on a long road to a town called Emmaus. They talked about Jesus' death and all that had happened. As they walked, they were joined by another man. They didn't realize it at first, but it was Jesus himself. And after he revealed himself to them, they went straight back to Jerusalem and told Jesus' disciples. And after they told them what they'd seen, they met Jesus, he walked with them, he suddenly appeared among them. Jesus was there, and he said to them, Peace be with you. Knowing he died, they thought he was a ghost. The Bible says that they were terrified and filled with fear. So Jesus asked them, why are you troubled, and why do doubts arise in your hearts? And like, we, like he did with Thomas the last, last week we talked about, he said, look at my hands and look at my feet. You can see that it's really me. Touch me and make sure that I'm not a ghost, because ghosts don't have bodies, as you see that I have one. Still, the disciples weren't quite sure what to think, so Jesus asked them for something to eat. He ate some fish, and they watched. It showed them that he wasn't a ghost, because... Ghosts don't need food, right? They can't eat. The disciples realized that Jesus had indeed come back to life, and they spent the next month or so with him. After Jesus returned back to heaven, those same disciples went all over the world telling about Jesus' crucifixion, his death, and his resurrection. They never stopped telling about what had happened. You and I have been called to tell others about Jesus, just like those disciples. We must be a witness for Jesus, too. We must tell the world that Jesus is alive. And that's what we celebrate during the season of Easter, right? Let's pray that we can go out into the world and share that good news with everyone. Fold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me. God, we serve a risen Savior. He is alive. Help us to be witnesses of what he has done in our lives with the whole world around us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, as usual, I've got a coloring page for you guys. So here is Jesus revealing himself to the disciples, showing his hands and his feet, saying, look, it's really me, I am alive. So you can download that, print that off, and color that at home. The link is in the video description box below and where we post this video on our website, pplc.org. That's available to you if you'd like to do that. Don't forget to check out our online virtual worship. We can catch Pastor Gibbs' sermon on there. That goes up where this video is on our website, pplc.org, and our Facebook page. Um, both videos go up every Sunday morning. Um, worship goes live around 9.30 a.m., so it gets posted around, around that time as well. So follow us on Instagram if you haven't already, and it'll just get posted straight to your feed. I think that's all I've got for you this morning. Um, let's close in prayer together, and then I'll let you go. Hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me. Father God, we pray that Jesus reveals himself to us as he did the disciples after his death and resurrection. We pray that you guide us and lead us and give us the strength and power to share the good news of Jesus' life after death with the rest of the world and those around us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, that's all I've got for you. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.